Hello everybody, welcome to Amnesia, the collection. Oh. Alright, so we're going to do it in order. This is a three game series, I guess. We got The Dark Descent, Justine, and A Machine for Pigs. I've seen Markiplier play this one. Uh, and I think this is a game where it had Tiny Box Tim! No, I, th I think it was uh, Jack who played the Machine for Pigs. I'm not sure. I think Markiplier might have played this, and it was uh, The Dark Descent. I don't even have hands. My hands are just stubs. I'm so sorry, Tony Box Tim. Wait, guard the de demons from getting to me, Tony Box Tim. You will always be missed. And then he actually had a little Tony Box Tim. Yay! That is so cool. Uh, Mark actually has his own little character in his Tony Box Tim. Oh, I wouldn't read it. <laughs> Alright, Amnesia put, should not be played to win. Instead, focus on ma immersing, immersing, immersing yourself in the game's world and story. Don't worry how, uh, about when you have, when and how to save during gameplay. The game will take care of that for you. If you want to leave game, just choose save and exit. You can use, then use continue to return where you left off next time you start up the game. Alright, the world of Amnesia is the dangerous and extremely vulnerable. Or you are. Try not to fight enemies encountered and so use your wits, hide, or even run if necessary. Find another fight! Alright, we'll just leave it normal. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is that game. A tiny box Tim. I'm gonna use Tiny Box Tim now. Don't forget, some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at at Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. Hey, right, that's My cool. My name is... is... I am Daniel. My middle name is Daniel. That's, that's cool. <clears throat> like in real life. Everything just died on me. Also, I can't see worth crap. And right now, I wish my room didn't have. Ah. Show and find its source. Alright, that actually scared me. That was loud. Why is my 
characters just leading to the Can I not put on that thing? It's my clothes. And it's cold in here. Turn the brightness back up a little bit. Hold up. Alright, so the controls I'm doing are different. Alright, there we go. Ah, uh, don't mess with me, bro. I'm a lion tamer. And I'm pretty darn good at it. Shut. Potter. Perfect. I'm beat the crap. Oh, wait, hold up. 
this one we got something 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 fried squid chest I feel like this would be easier in New York, but then I know I wouldn't be able to go to sleep. My sanity! No! I've lost it. I don't even remember what that said. I've met me. I'm the true OG. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Once you're a tiny box, I fall. Screw you, logic. <laughs> of August, 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there'll be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. 
go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Daniel. So, alright, let's look at the controls because I'm pretty sure I just figured out how to ring. Yeah, commentary, com, com, commentary. Yeah, R1 to lean and then you just, you know, use L1 or, or L3 to, uh, you know, look around the corner. Throw. Oh, I can run! I think we can all feel the story kick starting as we finish the letter from Daniel. The game itself is just filled with confusion, and I think we are really doing the player a service keeping it simple in the beginning. Basically try to take your revenge on Alexander, that is the premise of the game. You don't really need to dive any deeper than that, but hoping that the player will care about the story, they have the entire game in front of them to decide if they think killing Alexander is justified or not. Sanity. Hello everyone, my name is Mikael and I'm the writer for Amnesia, The Dark Descent. The editors themselves went through a lot of design changes during the development. Not that many in visual appeal as in internal stuff, like data structures and handling. This happened mostly because at the beginning we only knew the basic stuff that needed to be in them, and as they grew in features and functionality, they started to kind of fall apart, mostly due to my big lack of previous experience in projects like this. Right now I loud what the hell still sounds in my head when I look at some parts of the code, but I am still proud of them. They can also get a bit buggy at times, but hopefully this won't happen again in the future. And I already got some nice ideas for the next iteration of the tool. Hi there, my name is Luis Rodero. I'm mostly the tool programmer, level scripter at times, and perhaps the main reason why the rest of the core team at Fictional Games is pretty much forced to speak English at our internal meeting. As this I am is the one of the first levels that we created for the game, and it was initially part of the Arcast level, which we will reach in a bit. And Nisha started for out some reason that a comes out of my design, right ear and when we redesigned that the maps did not fit, left. this caused us to split them up and scatter them out. So in the first design, after this corridor, the archives level was supposed to follow, and the room lying there now was built much later. In fact, the first designs did not have Daniel waking up with an amnesia at all, and it was actually added later on. In the first the story draft, Daniel still had hidden memories, but he was unaware of this at the start of the story. However, as we redesigned things, we found the waking up with amnesia thingy, although a bit cliche, much more fitting.
melting, smelting, smelting all day. Hello, my name is Martin Kander. I'm a 3D artist and love a creator at fictional games. I started out as a helper during Penumbra Overture, and I was finally hired as a full-time artist in the later part of Penumbra Black Plague. Have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... what did you call it? The Inner Sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, the entrance hall was first shown in our first gameplay trailer, and while the layout hasn't changed much, the details certainly have. We build our levels from sets of pieces, in this case, the castle base set. While the carefully planned set pieces made level building very easy, the levels became very similar and we had to make special pieces to the levels. Now, one and a half year later, the special pieces make up about half of the pieces in the castle base set, and we made changes to incorporate these objects into the earlier levels. An example of this can be seen if you compare the hole in the roof now with the one from the first trailer. The new roof was made in the middle of the project when you built level 9 back hall. A special version was made to give the roof hole in the entrance hall more depth and detail. Particle editor is also a fine part of the tool bundle, and it is what we use to create particle effects for maps and events. We use particles to do nice effects like the flames in torches and the, and the smoke that comes out from them. All we have to do is add one or more particle emitters, set up some parameters like starting position and speed, on all sorts of tailings in size, color, or speed. It's funny how you can simulate all kinds of effects with such simple elements. I very much recommend you to try it yourself. In early concepts, this was meant to be a sort of wine testing room and directly connected to the wine cellar. The reason for the whole wine testing thingy was that we planned on having more laboratories in their levels, so a lab here as well felt kind of strange. Then things changed and only one lab was left in the design, so we changed the name to the laboratory instead. The whole wine testing facility that got made dangerous acid always felt kind of strange anyways.
return if it wasn't for the thought of you, my love. I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I am able to think of you or and long for a life together, I know I'm better than others. I weep for them, I just they just lost for power without restraint. I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. Lighten that up. Alright, so I'll have to come back to the laboratory. Follow our development blog back when it started. You might have missed one of the biggest changes in our production pipeline. Two years back, Let's we started we a full set side project to ease right. and speed up the yeah, creation right. of content for the game. I'd say the level editor, which is what we, or more specifically James, Mark, and Marco, have used to build all the halls and corridors you are walking through right Rotero. now, is the big start of the pack. It's working in a nutshell. While all the models and assets are actually made in software like Maya or Blender, everything geometry-wise in the levels is put together in it. Oh, then he's lighting a and sweet details like decals and fog are added in. While this approach might sound simple, really nice stuff can come out from it, as you can see in the game. Okay, I'd follow him, but he, he speaks nothing but Espanol. <laughs> I do not speak at Espanol very well. No, sir. No, senor. Beginning to well in his eyes, as he would reserve, receive the first kick in the stomach. Hazel remained hidden, in fear she would too be punished. I 
library. Oh, rare books. Sixteenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Well. little overview of our tools, I must mention the material editor, available both standalone and built into the other editor. The program itself is very simple to use. You have some material types defined by the engine, and you can throw in textures to be used for diffuse, normal maps, height maps, as well as some variables to control specific parameters for a material type. When I was writing it, I could just stare while the preview model rotated around itself and the parallax mapping effect was on when testing, just for fun. Another piece of the toolset oh, so Another piece of the tool set is a model editor, used to create the entities you are interacting with while playing. Basically, we take a model and set up some parameters like physical bodies, joints and user-defined variables. We can also attach sub-entities to them, like lights, particle system. When an entity is finally set up, it is ready to be placed in a level using the level editor. Examples of entities here are doors, lamps, most furniture, critters. This level was changed a lot, and I think it's one of the most unique levels today, that we've got. Was Not only was it part of the big archives level that we had to split up, but it was also hard to get engaging enough. The problem here is that we don't have any sort of fun mechanic that we rely on to make the game engaging. Instead, we rely on story, atmosphere and environment. This is true for many other levels and the game as a whole, but these were kind of the, the one of the larger levels that we made and also one that didn't have much puzzles and such. So when testing it, we quickly get bored with it and we wanted to add more spooky events to spice it up. But then later on, testing proved that these events weren't that necessary Got and it. we also felt that they were a bit lame and not fitting, so we decided to remove them. Then in the back part of the level, we wanted to make that a more linear experience with the current player getting trapped and all, forcing the player to solve the destroy wall and find secret door puzzles. Previously, testers often missed that they can solve these problems. The level is now very different from the early designs.
was like, ooh, this looks cool, and then plop. Should I got now? Nine? Not bad. Rotten apple. Don't test me, I'm crazy enough, I'll do it. When I started writing I had only to outline the framework for the story and the first few levels in the game design document, so I ended up finalizing a lot of material for the first levels and then when those were done we planned out the last two thirds or so. This had a funny effect since I had to not only cater to the story but to stay true to the stuff I've written for the first levels. Usually you can go back and forth while writing and change things. But if you have already recorded voices, you really shouldn't because of the costs. So the first texts really shaped 
the rest of the material in an interesting way and made them matter in a way I hadn't thought about. I really like how the, this thickens the story elements as I am able to jump back into the material and keep I using like and reinforcing they add, certain like, commentary concepts. To their games. Like a group play is of course the most extreme effect of this method which grew from a small reference to becoming one of the most important characters in the game. Seemed pretty very cool by hand to me. giving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us especially downstairs here here and there let's get the servants working on it for the wine cellar. Alright, that is must. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel.
kind of hate reading, so you know. Maybe I got fun. You know what guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. If you don't if you enjoyed, don't forget to come on like and subscribe. And I will see all of you in the next one. Peace.